It's been called the Ocean's Eleven of cybercrime. Hackers in Russia, China, all over Europe, coming together to hack 100 banks in 30 countries. How successful? Up to a billion dollars in stolen cash. Going undetected for two years until banks started noticing something suspicious. Just one arm of the attack, but certainly the flashiest. An ATM in Ukraine was randomly pouring out bills onto the ground. The hackers were able to take control of the bank-operated machines remotely and make it rain cash with the help of an accomplice. We referred to them as money mules, and we saw instances where uh, the criminal didn't even touch the ATM machine. They just walked up to it, the money came out, and they walked away. An ATM hack itself isn't unheard of. Hacking legend Barnaby Jack demoed the hack years ago for MIT. I found a vulnerability which will allow me to bypass all of these passwords and then upload my own software onto the ATM remotely. I'm not naive enough to think that I'm the only person who could do this. Nico Sell is someone who tried to do this, attempting to hack into an ATM, dispensing gold bars. We're in the Palace Hotel in Abu Dhabi, all these hackers building a human shield around the gold machine because there's cameras everywhere acting like we're tourists taking pictures and have to unplug the machine because that's usually how you get the IP address and then you wait till it restarts, you plug it back in. A billion dollars gone, and the attack might not be over yet. Banks may not even realize they've been compromised. It's a haul that would make even Danny Ocean blush. It does feel like we've, uh, we've seen another milestone in, in the, uh, the arc of, of cyber attack history. Lori Siegel, CNN Money, New York.